Oh, it's like February out there. Seeing as how it is February, that should come as no surprise. <sighs> Pretty cold in here, too. There's some hot chocolate on the stove. I made it for Shannon. Where is he, anyway? Uh, game room. He wants to hustle me at pool. First we played a marathon of video baseball, then he wants to take me out back and play catch. Show me how hard he can throw. In 20 degree weather. And he does throw hard. Got a swollen catching hand to prove it. These teacher conferences. Is that why you're in a bad mood? I'm not. I just have a lot on my mind. Like what? And that would be none of my business. Or would it? No one can do anything about Ramsey. For now. Do you know what, guys like that? They always end up tripping themselves up in the end. In the end? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that could be in a few weeks, in a few months, in a few years. In the meanwhile, everything's going to go to hell in the handbasket. No, we're not going to let that happen. Do me a favor. Just tell the judge that I'll come back later. Okay? I will. All right. Bye. Bye. Sign the statement. Hmm? The statement about Marcy. Sign it. Hmm. You know, I was thinking, Nora. You let Marcy off the hook so easily like this. I, I just... I just wonder what you think the new sheriff's going to do about that. I mean, I... I don't think he's going to react so well. I think he's going to stomp all over you for it. I think he's going to stomp all over a lot of people. <laughs> huh. No. Couldn't be. What? No, it's impossible. Maybe not. I think that very possibly, after all this time, we might actually agree on something. <laughs> no, that's impossible. I know. I think it's possible. I do. See, I'm not, I'm not real crazy about Lee Ramsey, and I'm getting the impression you're not either. You don't like him at all, do you? I know you're dreading this, Marcy. I am too. But, you know, if the judge recommends a sentence that we're not happy with, then we can always go to trial. But I have a feeling that it's not going to come to that, you know, if... Todd actually follows through with not pressing charges. Mm -hmm. We need to go. Thanks. That is great news. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes what? Guess. I'll give you a hint. Uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. What is the best possible thing that could happen to us? I got nothing. Oh, come on! Nash, why don't you just tell me? I got our credit line extended. The guy from the bank, he called me back. It's all set. Hello, super successful vineyard, expanding product line. The best part, I can finally afford a marketing company. We're in the big time. That's great. Oh, my God. Maybe I can finally afford to upgrade the irrigation system. Ooh, no, probably not. And the best part, the best of the best part, I did it myself. I did it. Me. No, Jared. Although, you know, it might be a good idea to keep him on board. He probably... He does come up with some pretty good ideas. And I do feel indebted to him. And how could I not, after all, how could I not feel grateful to the guy who saved my wife's life? That doesn't make you feel uncomfortable, does it? Uh, the, the fact that you're grateful to Jared? Of course not. I am too. Jessica. Who are you on the phone with? Uh, the hospital. To check up on Allison Perkins. I thought we were past that. I, I was. You know, I really tried. But I just can't help but thinking that... I can't help but think that maybe she wasn't lying. You know, maybe she really does know this big secret about me. I don't think she has a secret. 
I think that if she'd had a secret, she would have told you a long time ago. I think that if she'd had a little secret all of her own, she would have told you a heck of a lot sooner. Maybe. Anyway, now we'll never know. Wait a minute. Did she die?